Welcome to the Baby Cubby, my name is Jessie and today we are going to review the Britax Poplar Convertible Car Seat. But before we do, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below with any questions you have. And remember, you can shop for this car seat and much more at babycubby.com. Now, let's get started. The Britax Poplar is a convertible car seat, meaning it can function in both rear-facing and forward-facing mode. This advanced car seat takes the stress out of moving to the next car seat stage by growing with your child and providing convenient features like the quick, click-tight installation and slim, space-saver design. Starting with the design, the Poplar is made with a reinforced carbon steel frame that makes for a sturdy yet slim design. It also includes naturally flame retardant fabrics with no added FR chemical that is comfortable and machine washable. The frame is made with safe cell technology that acts as a crumple zone, helping to keep crash energy away from your child and it also includes dishwasher safe cup holders. When it comes to adjustments, the Poplar provides a 14 position adjustable harness and headrest and a 6 position recline. The harness includes five buckle points for great safety and is easy to use. Another unique feature is the patented V-shaped top tether for forward-facing mode. This tether has stage release stitches which helps slow and reduce forward movement during a crash. In terms of weight capacity, the Poplar weighs a total of 27 pounds and can accommodate children from 5 to 65 pounds and 49 inches tall. As you may notice, this car seat allows for extended rear-facing capabilities which allows your growing child to stay riding rear-facing for longer. Now let's go over the installation instructions. Begin by reclining the unoccupied car seat to the appropriate position for rear-facing mode. Then place the car seat rear-facing on the vehicle seat so that the car seat base is flat and parallel to the vehicle seat. As a note, make sure there is no more than 3 inches of the base hanging over the edge of the vehicle seat. Then open the click tight door by lifting the front cover flap and squeeze the click tight release buttons. After that, thread both the lap and shoulder belt into the rear facing belt paths. Buckle in the seat belt and make sure it is not twisted. Then remove slack from the seat belt. Close the click tight over the vehicle belt and make sure both grey click tight release buttons are visible. Then lock off the seat belt. Afterwards, check for stability. The car seat should not move more than an inch from the seat. Begin by removing the lower connectors from the storage compartment and pulling them to full length toward the child's left side. Then recline the unoccupied car seat to the appropriate position for rear facing mode. Place the car seat rear facing on the vehicle seat so that the car seat base is flat and parallel to the vehicle seat. As a note, make sure there is no more than 3 inches of the base hanging over the edge of the vehicle seat. Then open the click tight door by lifting the front cover flap and squeeze the click tight release buttons. Thread the lower connector strap into the rear facing belt paths. Then firmly press the lower connectors over their adjacent lower anchors. Make sure the connectors are secure and the strap is not twisted. Then pull the end of the lower connector strap to remove slack. Close the click tight door over the lower anchor strap and make sure both grey click tight release buttons are visible. Afterwards, check for stability. The car seat should not move more than an inch from the seat. Begin by placing the car seat forward facing on the vehicle seat. Then remove the top tether and extend it over the seat back. Recline the unoccupied car seat to the appropriate position for forward facing mode. Then ensure the car seat base is flat and parallel to the vehicle seat. Then open the click tight door by lifting the front cover flap and squeeze the click tight release buttons. After that, thread both the lap and shoulder belt into the forward facing belt paths. Buckle in the seat belt and make sure it is not twisted. Then remove slack from the seat belt. Close the click tie over the vehicle belt and make sure both grey click tie release buttons are visible. Then lock off the seat belt. Attach the top tether to the vehicle's tether anchor. 
Pull the loose tether strap in to remove slack and secure excess webbing with the tether storage strap attached. Afterwards, check for stability. The car seat should not move more than an inch from the seat. Begin by placing the car seat forward facing on the vehicle seat. Then remove the top tether and extend it over the seat back. Remove the lower connectors from the storage compartment and pull them to full length toward the child's left side. Recline the unoccupied car seat to the appropriate position for forward facing mode. Then make sure the car seat base is flat and parallel to the vehicle seat. Then open the click tight door by lifting the front cover flap and squeeze the click tight release buttons. Thread the lower connector strap into the forward facing belt pass. Then firmly press the lower connectors over the adjacent lower anchors. Make sure the connectors are secure and the strap is not twisted. Then pull the end of the lower connector strap to remove slack. Close the click tight over the lower anchor strap and make sure both grey click tight release buttons are visible. Attach the top tether to the vehicle's tether anchor. Pull the loose tether strap end to remove slack and secure excess webbing with the tether storage strap attached. Afterwards, check for stability. The car seat should not move more than an inch from the seat. That wraps up our review of the Britax Poplar Convertible Car Seat. We love this car seat for its slim design and quick, click tight installation. You can shop for the Poplar on babycubby.com. We offer price matching and free shipping on orders of $95 or more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.